What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Starts With A Vision. And I wanted to bring this message to you. It's been a while since I've done a video. Been really focused on growing this podcast. But I really want you guys to get value from something that was on my mind. And so I, I think it's very important that you be very careful with who you letting who you let into your life I'm talking about physically I'm talking about mentally I'm talking about spiritually I'm talking about emotionally allow me to illustrate when I say physically it's very important on who you let stand next to you when I say emotionally it's very important to be, be cognizant of who you tell your personal business to. When I say spiritually, it's very important on who you allow to preach the word to you or give you guidance in that aspect of life. Because you have assets and you have liabilities. And a lot of times, People come packaged as an asset, but then they end up becoming a liability. They end up sucking the soul out of you. And so, if you are around somebody who has a negative aura about themselves, you need to get away from them. If you talk to someone and they never support anything you say or do, you need to get away from them. If you are around somebody and you don't feel like their advice is best for you, you need to get away from them. All those types of people are liabilities. And what a liability is, is something or someone that takes more than you receive. Do you know anybody like that? Ask yourself this, who in my life is receiving more than giving to me. That's a liability. Think about it. If you have a credit card bill, what's happening? You're getting nothing from that bill every month, but every single month you have to give money to pay the bill, right? Same thing with people. Who's on your liability list that you need to X out? But on the flip side, what about the good stuff? What about the assets? What is the asset? Is something that is bringing you more value than you're, you're putting out. If you have a rental property, it could be an asset because you're actually making money on it every single month. Who's pouring into you? Who is, who do you feel good to when you talk to? What do you feel good doing? What settings do you feel best at? most effective, most productive, happiest at. If you are surrounded by the wrong type of people, they will be liabilities to your life, to your mornings, to every part of your life. And in turn, you will not be at your full, your fullest potential. So, I just wanted to bring that to you guys because there's so many people who are dealing with all types of different people that they're allowing to stay in their lives, but they have no place in it. They're a liability and they're not an asset. On the flip side though, don't get this twisted. What are you attracting? Because if you're a liability yourself, then how in the heck are you going to attract the asset? So, how we're going to solve this whole problem is be the type of person to give 51% and be okay with getting 49%. Because if two people meet or three people meet and each person is focused on giving 51%, if one person is focused on giving 51%, and this person is focused on giving 51%, then we are all good, we're all full. But if you're hanging around people 
who just want to take, 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 you're going to lose, lose, lose. And that's not a good situation to be in. So I really hope this message got to you. I'm thankful that you made it this far in the video. If you like the video, share it with a friend who may have a liability or a liable person in their life that they need to get rid of. I'll talk to you guys on the next episode, the next video, whatever it is. Y'all have a good one.